Hey everyone, Will at the Greenhouse here in Hemans, and we're talking about nematodes today. A lot of you asked before, can you please tell us when it is appropriate timing to apply the nematodes in our lawn so that we can kill the grubs? And this is that video. It is officially time to apply nematodes to get those nasty grubs under control. If you have grubs, you probably know because you either see skunks digging up in your yard and making a mess of everything, or you had a constant issue with them ongoing and so you're regular in the battle against those grubs. Nematodes are a naturally occurring thing that we're going to introduce into our lawn and they seek out and destroy specific types of insects. These grubs, uh, these nematodes, sorry, that we have here are going to be going after the grubs that are created by things like Japanese beetle, European chafer, and June bugs. So if you uh, are wanting to know more about these, this is, uh, this is how it works. So nematodes look like, under a microscope anyways, look like little worms, but they actually go out, seek and destroy and eat from the inside out, uh, kind of like alien, uh, the grubs. So when you get the package, you're actually gonna be buying yourself 10 million of them. And this package is gonna cover two to 3,000 square feet in your lawn. So when you get this package, you're gonna open it up. You'll see it kind of looks like somebody hucked the loogie in there because there's 10 million on that sponge right in there. And what we're going to do is we're gonna get these off the sponge and into uh, a concentrated water that we're gonna use to water into the lawn. So if you have uh, more than uh, two to 3,000 square feet, you'll need to get multiple packages, but if you have a small little area, you're actually able to take and maybe cut this thing in half and then apply some of these nematodes now and then wait a week and then you can get a second coating and maybe uh, hit some of the spots that you missed or uh, go in and do a second application, those hot spots to really kind of nail those grubs with these nematodes. So when you get this, there's also a, uh, inside the package is gonna be a helpful care sheet. We wrote a, a great guide, not biased at all, it's fantastic. I wrote it myself, a uh, guide that is uh, gonna cover a lot of things from this video that you can go and see on our website. But when you actually get this, what you're gonna do is you're gonna apply the concentrate of these nematodes into the applicator. So I said a couple words that are confusing. We said concentrate. What we're gonna do with these is we're gonna apply this sponge into a small uh, bucket of water and that's going to basically ring, and we're gonna wring these out. It's kinda of like a sponge with suds. We're gonna to try to wring this out, so you're gonna dip it in the water and rinse it out and rinse it out, get all the nematodes out of here and into our bucket of water. Then once we have the bucket of water with these, that's our concentrate. We're gonna take that mixture and we're gonna be putting it into our applicators. With the applicators, it's very simple. You basically hook up your hose end onto here. The water from your hose is gonna flow through it's gonna suck up from the straw in the applicator and then shoot out this end over here. This looks a lot like the fertilizer applicators that you might use for uh, water-soluble fertilizer in the summer with one major distinction. This one has no filter in there. So if you have a filter in that one and you can remove it, you could use that one. Otherwise, we recommend that you actually get a separate applicator because the nematodes are small, but they're not so small that they couldn't get damaged by that filter as they're being forced through there. So what, uh, one question that a lot of people get is how do I know how much area I'm gonna be able to cover with this concentrate? And what I recommend is if you've never done this before, you get this, uh, a fill, of, a fill it with water, add a couple of drops of food coloring or even a tea bag in there, it's gonna change the color so you'll be able to easily see it and just hook up the hose and walk your lawn at the regular pace that you would like you'd be painting it in with the nematodes and see how much of your area you're able to cover. If you cover half of your lawn, that's say 2,000 square feet, then you know that you'll be able to put two uh, of these in there with that concentrate and you'll be able to get a nice coverage on your lawn. And again, if you have a really small lawn, there's nothing that says that you can't just keep those nematodes and put them back in the fridge. We sell the nematodes that are in those little ball busters. They need to stay below 30 degrees so they can stay out in your house. Otherwise, we would strongly recommend that you keep them inside your fridge they're all sealed up, so don't worry, the nematodes aren't gonna get anywhere else. It's really important to note uh, that nematodes are 100% natural and safe for anything that's not a grub. So you, your pets, your kids, your plants, you can fertilize, you can garden in them, you can do anything with them and you're totally fine. The only thing that needs to worry when you apply nematodes is those nasty grubs in our lawn. Really awesome to get them into the ground is doing the nematode application right before a rain. And we're supposed to get rain again in the forecast very, very soon, which is why we're putting this video right now, because grubs are in the ground and we need to get the nematodes in the ground. So we're gonna use our applicators to sprinkle the water on the lawn and we can either water the nematodes in after we do the application or we can do it right before or during a rain and the rain from mother nature will dry them in. So smart persons out there, literally in the rain or just before it's about to rain, rushing to get these all done. 
If you have any questions about applying nematodes, post them in the comment section below. Be sure to check out that How to Apply Nematodes guide that we wrote on our website, heman.ca. It'll be very helpful. And we look forward to seeing you guys out there having a beautiful, clean lawn with no grubs.